Today, I have three approaches for creating images with multiple characters using Midjourney's character reference feature. This video was voted for by my Patreon community where I share monthly prompt collections and Midjourney guides. If that sounds interesting to you, I'll leave a link down below. Let's get started. The first approach uses Midjourney's pan and zoom features. For this example, I'm gonna work with two characters. I'll show you my attempt at a three character image later in the video. In this tutorial, I'll mainly be using Midjourney's website. If you are a Discord user, I will point out how to use each method there as well. The first step is to create an image that contains one of the reference characters. So I'll prompt for a fashion photo shoot and add my character reference image. You can either drag and drop your character reference onto the imagine bar or select it from this quick access area. Then select this little character icon here, or you can type dash dash C R E F a space, and then paste the image URL for your character. And I'll set the character weight to zero by adding dash dash C W zero. This lets Midjourney change the clothing and sometimes hairstyle of the character in the results. And I chose to do a tall aspect ratio. You'll see why in a second. So I ran that a few times and selected this image. Next, I'm going to open this image in Midjourney's image editor. To add the second character, I'll drag this gray bar over here to create space next to the first character. This is going to change the final aspect ratio. I'll also zoom out just a little bit to get more of the surrounding scene. Now you don't have to pan and zoom at the same time if you don't want to. For example, I could just zoom out keeping the original aspect ratio and then click and drag to place that initial image. But for this example, I'm gonna do both. Okay, so we want to put the second character into this space, but we need to give Midjourney information about that character. Over on the right, I will update the prompt text so that it also describes the second character and tells Midjourney where that character is in relation to the first character. Then I will delete the character reference that I used for the first character and add the character reference for the second character. To do that, I have my Midjourney gallery open in another browser window and I'm just dragging and dropping my character reference over to the prompt. Or you can always type dash dash C R E F in the prompt and paste in your image URL. Then make sure the little character icon is selected here. I'll keep the character weight set to zero so Midjourney can give them some fashionable clothing. Okay, so I've created space, updated the text prompt and added the new character reference image. I clicked submit and here are a few of the results. It may take a few tries to get a result that is acceptable, both in terms of image coherence and similarity to the character reference. CREF isn't perfect, so don't expect a perfect result on the first try. If you want to try the pan and zoom approach in Discord, first you'll need to make sure that you have remix mode enabled, type slash settings, and make sure this button is green. This will allow you to edit the prompt text when submitting a pan or variation job. Unlike with the image editor, pan and zoom are separate steps in Discord. After you've created your first character image, click on one of the pan buttons here and edit the prompt text to add your second character. Or use custom zoom, edit the prompt text to add your second character, consider changing to a wide aspect ratio and adjust your zoom amount. Approach number two is to use repaint or vary region to replace one face at a time. This is my favorite approach for getting multiple consistent characters. First, you'll want to create a base image that contains two characters. Be sure to consider the scene and final composition that you want. Are they having coffee together or are they part of a cinematic movie scene? Describe characters that are similar to the character references that you'll be using. Once you have your base image, open the image and click on image editor. We are going to erase and replace the face of each character one at a time. First, I'll erase the face of this character. Then over on the right, I'll add the reference image for that character. Again, be sure to click the little character icon. If you want to add more text to the prompt to describe the character positions, for example, if this is a side profile shot, go ahead and do that, or you can try leaving it as is. I'm also setting the character weight to zero because I don't want the outfit in the reference image to interfere with the results. I ran that a few times and got this image. Next, we need to replace the other character. So I'll bring this image into the image editor. This time I'll erase over the other character, delete the previous character reference image and add the new one. I ran that a few times and here's the final result. To use this method in Discord, create your base image and click Vary Region. Draw around the first character that you want to replace. 
Add your character reference image with the CREF parameter and submit it. Once you get a result that you like, do another round of Vary Region, but use the reference image for the second character. The third approach is to include both character references in the same prompt. You can either use one image that contains both characters or use two separate images. In order for this to work remotely well, we need to help Midjourney map the characters correctly by including descriptive text in the prompt that specifies each character and their positioning. Start with telling Midjourney that there are two people. Then describe which character is on the left and which character is on the right. The goal is to prevent Midjourney from blending the two character references together, although that can result in some rather hilarious images. Having a clear text prompt to map the characters is helpful, but it won't always work. Sometimes one of the characters looks really good, but you might need to open one of the results in the image editor, erase the character that you want to redo, and then add a reference image just for that character to get to your final image. Here are some of the results that I got with this approach after a few tries. In Discord, follow the same steps by typing your prompt, add the character reference parameter, then paste the URL to either your two character image or two image URLs, one for each character. If you use two image URLs, just make sure to separate each one with a space. And if you need to fix the faces in a result that you like, follow the previous method using very region. As you may have gathered, creating images with two reference characters comes with its challenges. To create images with more than two reference characters, I recommend using the repaint approach. It's going to be much easier to create that base image with the characters positioned the way that you want from the start versus worrying about that later while also trying to get the characters' faces to match your reference images. You can also use these approaches if you're working with illustrated characters or even some non-human characters, although non-human characters can be a little more difficult to use as references. Here, I created two different characters using an illustration style reference code for both images. This is the charming Flickr SREF code for my illustration SREF guide. Next, I created the base image using the same style reference code and then repainted over the faces to bring in each character reference one at a time. Now, I haven't mentioned using style references in this video until now because I didn't want to cause too much confusion, but when you're working with multiple reference characters, using either an SREF code or the original base image as the style reference can be a useful tool for keeping style consistency across different iterations. Midjourney's character reference feature isn't perfect, but you can get fairly decent results with a little bit of effort. If you have a go-to approach for creating images with multiple character references, let me know down in the comments. In the next couple of months, Midjourney will be releasing their V7 model and an improved character reference feature is on the agenda along with many other exciting new features. For more on the basics of character reference, check out my deep dive video. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider liking, subscribing, and maybe even joining the Patreon community where I share monthly prompt collections and Midjourney guides. As always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.